It's a place called Bucky Moonshines in Deep Ellum, and the Bucky it's named after. Oh, I'm ecstatic. Can't wait to reopen on Friday. I right. serve food to people, and for 40, 45 days today, I haven't gotten to do that, and I really, really miss that. With picnic tables outside, properly spaced tables inside, paper disposable menus, he's ready to serve up catfish and fried chicken again, even if the rules say only 25% of normal capacity allowed inside. People come out in droves. I mean, if I'm 25% full, I'd still like to do 75% of the business I normally used to do. But in Uptown, there was a car wreck at Fitzhugh and Cole today, right in front of the fine dining restaurant called Saloon. And a collision with COVID-19 is what Abraham Saloon is still trying to avoid. Yes, of course. <laughs> we all want to go back to being open, of course. But we want to open feeling safe. His dining room is small, seats just 84 people, so he's not ready to reopen, not just yet. I don't feel safe. I don't think my staff feels safe. And I don't think the clientele feels safe. Most people are not going to come out yet. The Texas Restaurant Association says it believes only half of Texas restaurants will try to reopen on Friday. That both fears and stringent safety rules make it a difficult choice. We know that 25% occupancy or even 50% is not a sustainable business model for our restaurants. But we also know for many of them, this allows them to kind of get their toe in the water and begin this kind of opening process. This is really a test case. If it goes well, restaurants can go up to that 50% capacity by May 18th. Abraham Saloum, for his staff of 20, hopes they will be among them. We need to do it safe because if we lose someone, it's our whole world. And industry leaders say it may take months for that confidence and financial health for restaurants to return. I'll accommodate you in any way that you possibly want. I just want to be in business. I'm I want to serve people food. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.